So the Padres have announced that Jace Tingler is fired. Or did they? I guess it was a premature tweet by John Heyman that Jace Tingler was going to be fired. He is not, but supposedly this is kind of standard procedure. This kind of thing happens when everybody knows that somebody's going to get fired, and Jace Tingler is definitely getting fired after this season. At first thought, when I saw this tweet, I thought that, yeah, it's kind of weird. Why just do it two games before the season ends? But yeah, so it's not going to happen yet, I guess. It definitely will happen when the season ends. And this definitely wouldn't be the first time that a very famous reporter prematurely tweets something about the Padres. And this is such an awkward situation. Like, everybody knows Jace Tingler will get fired. He knows he's getting fired. So how does he seriously manage these last couple of games? Not just breaking down knowing he's getting fired and getting blamed for this? I mean, poor guy. That just sucks. Even though it's not official yet, everybody knows he's getting fired when the season ends. Somebody has to. But now the question is, who do they bring in this offseason? Who is going to be that game changer? Is it Ron Washington? Is it Bruce Bochy? Is it somebody we've never heard of again? I think it's probably going to be somebody we've never heard of again, which is something that Preller just loves to do. But I'm hoping it's Ron Washington or Bruce Bochy. My favorite would be Ron Washington. I just love the dude. I feel like he can lead a club. Bochy is the same way, but I think he's just too old. I don't think he wants to manage anymore. I think they've said he's had some real serious health problems recently, and staying away from all that stress would definitely be what's best for him. And who's more stressful than the Padres? But one of the biggest questions here hanging over this whole thing is, does A.J. Preller have what it takes to pick the right manager to lead this team? He's already failed twice. Andy Green didn't work. Jace Tingler didn't work, and who knows who he's going to pick next. I think he has to go for the safe bet here. He cannot pick a random-ass dude again. And then this is coming with all this recent news about Preller being this dictator in the clubhouse or in the front office and just completely having a stranglehold on everybody, not wanting to hear other views, just not being the kind of guy that you want to work for. So now the question is, do we even trust AJ Preller to pick the right guy? This is going to be probably his last chance, I'd say, if the manager pick goes wrong one more time i'd have to say he's out of here no matter what it really sucks for jace tingler though man if the team would have not collapsed like this if things would have gone better the second half i'd say even if they would have finished just a couple games above 500 even if they would have missed the playoffs tingler would still be the manager i think maybe they make some other changes but it really sucks. Bottom line, this comes down on the players. No matter what, no matter how bad the front office is, no matter how bad you don't want to play for your manager, no matter what, you're getting paid millions of dollars. It comes down to the players who did not perform, who could have done better. They had a cakewalk to the playoffs this year. All they had to do was beat up on the bad teams. Yes, they had a tough September schedule, but those two months before that, they had so many games against teams nowhere in contention and they lost series after series, just getting beat up again and again, waiting for that winning streak to happen, and nothing turned around. Yes, they didn't have the starting pitching. They didn't have the full depth that a team should have had. But bottom line, most of these players underperformed for what they're getting paid. And because of that, Jace Tingler takes the fall, Larry Rothschild took the fall, and who knows who's next.